All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah. All right, this is uh, the Israelites, Sky Israelites, Houston. All right, this is Brother Osmoa, and I'm Nanakawan. We just coming back at you with another video dealing with prophecy, okay? Because um, if you're living, if you're if you're living under a rock, all right, just to put it plain. <laughs> Okay, if you're living under a rock, let me just let me just let me just wake you up real fast. Okay, America is going into another lockdown, a second lockdown. Okay, America is not going back to the way it was, or the world is not going back to the way it was. Okay, this earth is about to be ready to have new rulership, man, and it's so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, and Southern Indians. Okay, America is not going back to the way it was. All praise. I'm gonna tell you that again. Okay, it's not. America's about to go under a second lockdown. All right. Matter of fact, give me give me Lamentations four and verse twenty one. So all you so called white people, all you Edomites, enjoy it right now. Enjoy your so called freedom while you have it. Okay, because this place is going to be utterly wasted away very soon. But first, but first, it's about to go under a lockdown a second lockdown and guess what the rules are going to be even more strict see that first lockdown that was just a little that was just a little trial run. run yeah a little test run but this second lockdown the second lockdown man that they're about to implement I'm telling you a lot of you guys are going to be sorry right and number one why is why is that all the all this chaos is happening number one all this chaos is happening because so-called blacks latinos and some of the indians are waking up to the true identity okay to being an Israelite. It tells you in the book of Baruch, the second chapter, as soon as the Israelites call upon the name of the Lord, okay, and remember themselves in the land of their captivity, the Lord is going to is going to appear on the earth. Also, because wickedness is increasing on the planet Earth right now. So the Lord is visiting the earth. Okay, so you, so, so you got uh, you got that? Okay. Uh, this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. Yep. It says, Rejoice. And be glad, O daughter of Edom. All right, so the Bible is telling you so-called white people to rejoice and be glad, right? Rejoice and be glad while you have it, while you have what? Your kingdom. Go ahead. That dwellest in the land of Uz, mm -hmm. for the cup shall also pass through unto thee. All right, and what's the cup? Hold on. What's the cup that the Lord is talking about? Is this talking about a cup with, you know, Hennessy? <laughs> Kavashier? Is that the cup? No. That is not the cup that the Lord that the Lord is talking about. Let me go ahead and um uh, get what the cup is. Because the cup is symbolic of something. The cup is symbolic of something bad, not something that that is good. Um, so this is uh the book of Jeremiah, chapter 25. I got it. And okay. verse uh what 15? Uh, yeah, okay, I'll start at 15. This is uh the book of Jeremiah, chapter 25 and 15. Good. For thus saith Yahweh power of Israel mm -hmm. unto me take the wine it's, cup okay take the wine cup because we're going to uh, see what, what this cup is symbolic of take the wine cup go ahead of this fury of what this fury this fury so that's what the wine cup is symbolizing the wine cup of the Lord is symbolizing his fury his wrath that's about to come upon the inhabitants of the, of the earth go ahead at my hand mm -hmm. and cause all the nations mm -hmm. Uh, to whom I send thee to drink it. Right, and the first nation that's going to drink of this cup is dealing with you Edomites. God. You're going to drink of the cup. You're going to drink of the fury that the Mosai is about to pour out. Why? Because all the crimes that you have committed throughout the planet Earth, destroying the Earth, destroying, destroying the atmosphere, okay, and destroying his people. God. So the Lord is going to take all the fury that he has and pour it upon all of you guys, God. okay? So listen, man, rejoice and be glad right now. Okay, take this opportunity that you have at the at the presented moment, which is right now, to do what you want. You know, enjoy your outside eating, because in Philly, that's all they do, man. Mm. When you ride downtown in Philadelphia, all you see is Esau eating out. Esau eating, eating out, you know, having fun, toasting, mm -hmm. getting married. Okay, enjoy all of that. Because yeah. all that is about to come to naught very yeah. soon. You, you have a point to add. Uh, I was gonna read another verse if you want. Okay, come on, go ahead. It's Jeremiah 25 and 28. And it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thy hand to drink. All right, which is talking about the fury. Go ahead. Then shalt thou say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, 
you shall certainly drink. Yeah, you're gonna surely drink of it. It doesn't matter if you're gonna refuse it. Just, just like a a parent and and his baby. All right, baby, you know, moving, moving and said to try to get fed. No, like right, you surely gonna eat this. <laughs> you you can, yeah, cause you ain't eating nothing else. God. We ain't gonna eat nothing else. Okay, after that, get Isaiah fifty one, and 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 start at verse twenty. So the Lord is not playing out here. A lot of death, destruction is about to come to America, and this is what we ought to be doing. We ought to be prophesying these things. Okay, pushing out vibrations. That's it. That's it. The Bible says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. Ah. So obviously what you speak goes out into the atmosphere and it does what? Manifest. And that's what we want. We want these words to manifest into real feel life. It in the air, bro. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I can feel it. Yep. Go ahead, bro. This is the book of Isaiah 51 and 20. Mm -hmm. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of Yahweh. Keep going. Tell me our people, go ahead. The rebuke of thy God. Keep going. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Why? Right. Who's that talking about? Talking about our people. Our people are the afflicted ones, drunken, but not with wine. What are our people drunken off of? Our people are drunken off the, of the philosophy of America. Or really, drunken off, the, drunken off the philosophy wherever they're at, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Appreciate it. No, go ahead. This is Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out, and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. Mm -hmm. They stagger, but not, uh, not with strong drink. Right, so if people aren't drunk of wine, what possibly can they be drunk off of then? They have to be drunk of philosophy, okay? Indoctrinated, just all, just have all that juice con contaminated them, God. right? Is that it? Oh, uh, verse 10. Okay. For Yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. See that, and that just further substantiate what it's talking about now what does it mean by when somebody has deep sleep upon them they believe they have a belief system contrary to the truth God. to the truth of the bible go ahead uh, and have closed your eyes the prophets and uh, your rulers the seers hath he covered all right all right back to uh, isaiah 51 and 22 yep thus saith yahweh mm -hmm. uh uh, thus saith the Lord, the uh, Yahweh, and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. Right. The, that, so the Most High pleads the cause of his people. Who was the Lord's people according to the Bible? The Israelites. Go ahead. Um, behold, I have taken out of thine hand. So the Lord says, I have taken out of thine hand. Go ahead. The cup of trembling. The cup of trembling. So the Most High said, he has taken out of our hand the cup of trembling. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, it's a lot. Even the dregs of the cup of my fury. What is the dregs of the cup? The last bit part the, the the bitterness because you know all the way at the bottom of a tea or something mm -hmm. it's the bitterness of it God. Go ahead. uh the, uh, the dregs of the cup of my fury mm -hmm. thou shalt no more drink it again so the lord says we're not going to drink it again just like what it says in lamentations 4 keep going but i will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee the lord said all right thank you israel mm -hmm. and, and it's going to it's going to give esau hand-me-downs go ahead but the hand-me-down is going to be times two so Lord says so he's gonna put it into the hands of them that afflicted us. Come on, go ahead. That that's who's gonna drink that cup, the ones who afflicted us. Who is the main perpetrator? Okay, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomites. Ah, uh, go ahead. And that cup is talking about these curses. This is Deuteronomy 30, verse 7. Yep. And Yahweh thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies mm -hmm. and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. All right, exactly, man. So you eat a mite in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> hey man, you gonna have ball, you gonna have bald headed eat a mite. <laughs> you gonna have eat a mite with eczema, all, all of those things uh, that Jake suffered. Okay, you gonna you you gonna be fearing, you gonna be fearing for your life every single day. Okay. Too. Yeah, I'm just not getting over outbreak. No, for real. Hell yeah. yeah, hey man, I've been, I've been, I've been battling it all my life. Hey, Edomites man. don't get that. Yeah, nope, Damn. nope, nope. Why? Why? Because the curses, you know, you know, is is um is, is upon Ooh, us. That be issue too. Man, I've been battling all my life, man. Damn. Right. Waking you up at your sleep. Man, man, you Edomites are gonna feel what we feel, man. <laughs> <For> real, <bro. laughs> I'm telling you, you guys are gonna feel what we feel, man. Times two though. Yeah. Instead of it being Yo. being a, being in one yeah. on, on one section of your body, it might be all over, all over your body. Hey. 
and you eat them, my guy, you ain't gonna be getting no eat of my chicks. They don't want to get, they don't, they don't want to get with the other nations God. and us. Is uh, where is it at? Yeah, yeah this is uh, Revelation 18 and 6. Can I have these precepts? We're gonna go ahead and get to the article. Okay, Kai, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. See, double. That's exactly why Esau is going to be doing what a thousand years in the kingdom. Why? All because right. we served what 500 plus years right. in America. Right. Because look, slavery didn't start in 1619, slavery started in the, in the uh, 1400s. In the 1400s, that's when that's when slavery started. When when a, when a, when the Portuguese went over there to the west shores of Africa and took my tribe into slavery, man. Brought them back to brought them back to Portugal. Okay, that's some history that my dad had relayed on me because my dad is from Ghana and he told me that's the history. So you guys, so you guys are gonna get it. So I probably was a part of that in in in, in, in my past life, man. So hey, man, you got you guys are good. You're gonna have a serious judgment. That's why we're standing in our, in our lot in the end in the end of the days like Daniel was. Right. All right. And we doing it. We basically uh, man, we prophesying against our our slave masters, bro. Cause our slave masters, they they reincarnated right now. That's right. You know, right. This is how we rebel against them right now. Uh, go ahead and, and grab the article, Barbara Kishaw. God, God. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, and and get in and get into this article about about the second about the second lockdown that's coming, and also, um, if you notice or if you if you if you watch the news, you see the so-called increase, you know. Of the uh of the uh, nineteen, okay. I'm gonna call it the nineteen. You 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 guys, mm -hmm. that's in the know. You should yeah. know what I'm talking about. I'm the nineteen, all right. And these people, Esau Edom is gonna try to make you to get the shot. Which what's the shot? You guys should know what the shot is, okay. And that's gonna uh uh um usher in the new world order that the so-called white men is trying to implement which us that are of the light we have to combat against that okay we have to pray to the most side that you know he give us that spiritual mark the wall which is exempt from judgment uh, these days yeah. okay so go ahead and uh read the title but don't say the v word though okay. just, uh, right. i'm just saying the 19 okay because you know listen man, i don't i don't i don't need i don't need esau taking down my channel again for real I says world leaders are planning new lockdowns to introduce the new world debt reset program. And, and what is that world? What is that sellout? World debt. What is debt? Uh, what is debt? The word debt associated with money, commerce, okay, currency. And what is going to be the next <clears throat> currency? The RFID market, which is the mark of the beast, by the way. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, which includes universal basic income. Oh, universal basic income. <laughs> universal basic income. Remember, don't say the V word. Mm -hmm. And 19 requirements. Yeah, and 19 requirements. 19 requirements. So that's telling you that, that the shot is associated with what? The mark of the beast. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. It says, well, this is an excellent way to enslave the population. Which, hey, we was going into it last night yep. about 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 the market of beast. Uh -huh. Because the market of beast, matter of fact, go ahead and pull it up. Okay. Revelation and the uh, blue letter. I want I want I want to go into these words. Revelation thirteen, verse sixteen. You know, you know, and you know, and this is what makes us happy, man. Okay. You know, doing okay. the work. Yep. Okay, and we've been doing the work all week, man. Yeah, what yeah. is this part like? This part like my sixth video, my sixth sit down this week, man. It's occupation. Man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's my occupation. Yep. Okay, it's not just a hobby. I, I, I think that's what we, um, we, we was going into. into right, right. It's, it's not a fad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, go ahead and read it. Start verse sixteen. Revelation thirteen and sixteen. Okay, he causes all, both small and great. Right. So when you go into the Greek word for all, it's a Greek word pas. Okay, the Greek word apostles means individuals, everyone, right? So the beast, which is the he talking about America, the beast is gonna cause individuals, go ahead, rich and poor, yep, free and bond yep. 
to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So go ahead. Let's go to the Greek word for mark. I got that strong hot spot. <laughs> Which we which we should know, but you know, let's go into it. All right, it's the Greek word paragma. Right. Good. Keep on paragma. scrolling. It says Are you right? A stamp and printed mark. All right, a stamp on a printed mark. So now let's go to the root word of it. Scroll up. On the root word. Yep. All right. Into Mali the word. Boom. Right, which is the Greek word crocs, right? Which means a, a pale, right? A pale or a stake. So now let me go into the word for pale. Go into the word for pale. As a matter of fact, I think it's stake. Get on Edema line. Nah, I'm just I'm just I'm just going on regular uh safari. Alright. Alright, hold on. If you and if you got anything to add or bring out, bro, you know, go ahead. Oh, God, God. oh. Okay, boom. I'm going into it at camp the other day in Philly. It's either it's either steak or pale. And Yachty was bringing out an excellent point about these barcodes, man. All right, because those two lines, mm -hmm. those two lines, all these lines represent uh, a numerical uh, value. Oh, yeah, a lot of them you know, have a 66 on them. Exactly. Yeah. The first, uh, the, the ones in the middle, and the Boom. last one, uh, those are six. So, 666 six, six, on those barcodes. Look at this, right? Stay, uh, this is this is steak now, this is steak. And it says, look, going down to the definition two. Now, everybody, er, now, everybody can do this now. All you got to do is go on, like, Safari or or whatever a uh, phone you got, just type in stake definition is gonna pop up and you just click on it, right? Camera right there. Dictionary, right? Guess what? It says what? It says stake something out, mark an area with stakes so as to claim ownership of it. Damn as to claim ownership of it. And as we see, when we go to the entomology or the root word of the word karagma, which is karax, what does it say? A pale or steak. Mm. And we go into the word for steak, it says mark an area with stakes so as to claim ownership of it. So what does the so-called white man wants to do pursuant to that article that, Yo, that we just read? Enslaved. Enslaved. And if you're a slave to someone, what does that mean? They owned they own you, okay? They own you. So, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, wants to own you Americans perpetually, okay, by way of this chip. That chip is going to show, is, that chip is marking you, is branding you, letting you know that they own you. That's the whole point of it. See, that's why we got to look at, and that's why we got to look in, to them words, man. These words are very important. Uh, bring out a precept. Come on. This is the book of uh, Mark, chapter 8, verse uh, 36. Mm -hmm. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? That's what's going to happen. You know, when, when these Jakes out here, man, take that chip, you know, just for the sake of eating, right? You're trying to <laughs> you're trying to gain this world. You're trying to gain this world that's, that's, that's crumbling. But at the same time, you're losing your soul because there's no place of repentance after you take that. Con, eat, yeah, uh, enjoy, enjoying, enjoying what? Some GMO foods for a season. Because right after that, you know, the lake of fire can come like that, bro. Yep. You're going to die in that, in that lake of fire. And then, and then the Lord, and the Lord might have a word set up to where you can even enjoy the chip. Because like I said Boy. yesterday, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you get that chip and then you, then you might start breaking out. Yep. You might start breaking out after that. So you might not even get the opportunity to enjoy you. the so-called thing that uh that's that you thought was gonna make you survive is gonna be your worst nightmare. You may you may you may you may cannot sleep at night. All sorts of things. The most high gonna be tormenting you in your head. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, con, con. <laughs> and that's and that's the worst, man. Yeah. Gonna make you bugged out. Yep. 
And then after that, he'll ask to get hit with a missile. Because another thing we got to realize, there's a lot of uh, strange happenings that's going to that's gonna be coming to an occurrence uh, of uh, things that's not even written in this book, man. Things that, that, that the prophets couldn't even utter. Oh, matter of fact, get that. Revelation 16. About, about, about those that took the chip. Revelation 16, verse 2. Mm -hmm. um, and the first went and poured out his vow upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast. You see that? It's a great sore upon the man that took the mark of the beast. So all those that take the mark of the beast, hey man, it's going to be a great sore awaiting you. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be right under there. All you that celebrate Christmas gonna be right under there on the Christmas tree, <laughs> waiting for your ass, man. <laughs> no side's ready to strike you down and heal you down. Is that it? Come. And upon them which worship his image. Right, which which what is worshiping the image, complying to the lifestyle of the so-called white man. Okay, which we need to be conformed to the image of Yahweh. Shai. Remember the scriptures. I think it's in Romans eight. The scriptures oh, talk God. about being conformed to the way of Yahweh Shai. Okay, the image of Yahweh Shai. So you 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 got you 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 got you got two to pick from: the ways of Yahweh Shai or the way of this beast, or the way of the so-called white man. Which one are you going to choose? Okay, either light is either life or death. Which Yahweh Shai? He's what? He's life. Okay, and this and this guy, the so-called white man, Esau, eat him. He's death. Matter of fact. Matter of fact, it tells you that in Habakkuk, oh, yeah, God, in a pair God, of horse God, yeah. or the red horse, one of them, it says that is as death. God. And Yahweh Shah is life and peace. God. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yep. That's crazy. This Deuteronomy 30, <laughs> this Deuteronomy 30 and 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. God. That's it? Yeah, that's it. God. That. See that? The Mosai has set, Mosai set the red pill and the blue pill on before you. And which pill you take the red pill, right? God, God. Pill, yeah. yeah, man, you gotta take that red pill, but not everybody's meant to take the red pill. Appreciate it. I, Cause I remember that guy in the, in the um in the um Matrix. You seen the movie, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the guy he had the red pill, and uh -huh. then and then and then he wanted to go back to the blue. He wanted to go back, which is just crazy, bro. You, cause in that red pill, you see you see life exactly how it is. Yeah, man. yeah exactly. You see, like what reality. we were bringing out last night, how this red pill, this this Bible, man, it's is. Like Ezekiel 2 and 10 says that it's, it's, it's a scroll that's full of woe, weeping, mourning, right? And lamenting, right? right? And a lot of people just can't handle it, man. Right. You know, but but what does what Ecclesiastes say? It says that a wise man's heart is in a house of mourning, right? Because what, what comes after mourning, right? Rejoicing, right? Right now, when we're in Esau's kingdom, we're mourning. But we understand having, this spirit, having the spiritual eye salve, we know what's on the other side of, of Esau's rule. And it's the house of mirth and rejoice eternally eternally and this is jeremiah 8 and 3 says and death shall be chosen rather than life right and death shall be chosen rather than life which is which is just so crazy death shall be chosen rather than life why oh hold that get get john yes okay. get saint john the third chapter verse uh i believe it's 18. i'm gonna show i'm we're gonna show you why death shall be chosen rather than life um, and it's so crazy. We didn't even have the. I didn't have none of these precepts in mind. Hey, but spirit. hey, the spirit, man. You gotta, uh, you gotta have that. You gotta have ha 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 kodash, uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, Go ahead. This is Rev, uh, John chapter three and eighteen. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Go ahead. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Jump the verse. Let me see. Jump the verse. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, nineteen. Yeah, nineteen, 19 yeah. is what I want. Uh. Uh, John 3 and 19. Yep. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. Yeah, light is coming to the world. What is the light? The light is dealing with dealing with this truth. Okay, go ahead. Uh, and men love darkness rather than light. Men love darkness rather than, than light. Why? Because their deeds were evil. Because their deeds are evil, bro. That's why they want to choose death rather than light. Because why? I mean life. Because their deeds are evil. So they want to remain in, in, in their wickedness. And Yahweh Shah said in John 15, I believe it was verse 4, it said, ain't gonna be no cloak for your uh, sins. Uh. So so we gotta re so so our people, you gotta repent and come back to the light. Okay. Come to the light. You know, you know how in movies on TV shows it says, Don't go to the light. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no, that's dumb. 
God. Go to the light. Go to the light. But this is what's coming to the planet Earth. A second, a second lockdown. A second lockdown is coming to the planet Earth. You're not going, you're not going to be able to travel and things of that nature if you don't have the mandated shots, the mandated 19. And this is uh, Luke 12 and 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Right, exactly, and and who is the most high, uh, um, making it known to his men? Matter of fact, get um, Psalms twenty five and verse and verse fourteen. Psalms chapter twenty five, verse fourteen. In Psalms twenty five and fourteen, says the secret of mm -hmm. Yahweh. So the secret, something that is hid, right? Mm -hmm. The secret of the Lord. Go ahead. Is with them that fear him. She that is with them that fear him. So the most is gonna reveal secrets to the men that fear him. And that's why we're out here doing what we do, because we have the secrets of the most high and we're broadcasting it. But also, although we broadcasting it the secret, mm -hmm. it's still a secret. Yep. It's yep. still a secret, though. Although it's right here in front of everybody's faces, it's still a secret. Why? Because not everybody's gonna get it, bro. Nah. Just like whisper down the lane. Oh. And after that preset, we're gonna uh, go ahead and get and, and get back to the article. Cause man, that article is real juicy. Juicy is juicy like a, a grapefruit, man. God, I'm gonna get this in the NIV. Uh -huh. it's, uh, this is Mark. This is the book of Mark 13 and 23. It says, So be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. Mm. <laughs> Be on your guard. Yeah. I told you all things ahead of time. <laughs> that is cold, bro. Uh, we gotta be on the guard. Your house, I told us ahead of time. Uh, so we have, no, bro. We have no excuse, man. No excuse. And if we fall to that condemnation, it's gonna be even worse. Like you said yesterday, more stripes is gonna be imputed, imputed onto us, man. Uh, okay. Uh. Going back to the article, man. So that's why, man. We cannot, we cannot draw back, man. We gotta pray. We gotta pray that the Most High keep a fervent spirit on us. It tells you that in Romans twelve, be not be not slothful in business, mm. having a fervent uh, spirit, serving the Most High, because mm. this is something that we enjoy doing, man. Right. Okay, we enjoy doing this. All right, might call us nerds, whatever, man. Mm. Just know that we enjoy serving the Lord. Call us nerds now, kings later. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, that's right. I don't want my lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So back to the article. It says, "Well, uh, you want me to start right here?" Uh, yeah, I mean, it don't matter. All right, Kyle. It says, well, this is an excellent way to enslave the population. Appeal to man's fear and his baser nature at once. Allow him to engage in the ultimate hedonism while indebting him to the beast. To the beast. <laughs> they snitching on themselves, bro. Right, bro. And hey, that Joe, oh, um, man. 15 and 6, that own mouth. Oh, condemning man, condemning me. And, and, and not I. Uh, hey, we just jump around so we can get to the media God, God. Uh, stuff. All right. So, uh, let's see. Where are you going to go? Uh, skip down. Oh, okay, okay. Engineer. Yeah, nah. Skip down. Okay, Tom, we can uh, start here. Yeah. All right. New world economy includes universal basic incomes and 19 requirements. Mm. <laughs> All right. The new world economy includes the introduction of a digital currency mm, a digital currency which when you when you look around everything is digital now i'm talking about you had the different uh forms of but listen man i can be thousands of miles away from this brother and i can give him some money man by way of what cash app what apple pay samsung pay zell whatever right i can i can legit do that thousands i don't gotta be in person with this brother and i can do that Right, Amazon has something set up called the Palm Payment, where it make uh painful things much more faster. It's much more convenient. Why? Because this kingdom is based upon convenience. Right. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is that? Uh, a universal basic income. Yeah, something basic. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Nineteen requirements for travel mm. and the World Debt Reset Program. 
a continuous cycle of lockdown. A continuous cycle of lockdown. Man, man. you damn simple as Jake's, bro. They just don't want to be locked down again. I mean, who wants to be locked down? But that's just a non effect of this lockdown, bro. Like, come on, man. You got you to gotta wake up. You got to wake up, bro. Hey, hey, man. I'm going to speak for myself. I'm going to enjoy this lockdown. Yeah, bro, for real. <laughs> man, it's a good time to use this lockdown to implement it for more fasting and more praying right. and more meditating. Right, you know, and get ready to start fleeing to these different places if that's what the if, what that's what the spirit leading you to do. Because man, listen, this is like Trump told you, and even Biden said it, man. He said it's about to be a long, oh, yeah, dark, a dark winter. winter. Yeah. Hey, well, and why are they saying this, bro? <laughs> they they keep emphasize, emphasizing long, dark winter. Come on, man. You know, and that's why Yahusha says, "Pray that your flight be not on the winter or the Sabbath." All right? Yahusha is basically telling you, listen, it's gonna be on the winter, basically. You calm, know, calm. <laughs> it's gonna be in the winter, and and think about it. This is how these damn cavemen move. This is when they're thriving the best when it's cold, right? But Jake, we don't do good in the cold, man. You know, but see, Esau he capitalizes, and this is a, a war strategy, man. Con, and you know what? Like I was, I was, I was, I was, I was telling my rib this: the winter time, Esau loves the winter time. If you notice, all the primary holidays is winter, bro. Right. The winter time, okay. the winter solstice. Because all their gods is being celebrated. Christmas, Nimrod, Tammuz, and them, bro. When everything's dead, too. Exactly, exactly, bro. <laughs> He's dead. Exactly. Exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. Everything is dead in the wintertime. Yeah. See that? That's what this, this is the time of Esau. This is the time of Esau uh, uh, thriving. And this is the time when Jake usually just huddle up and cake up. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm, calm, man. Hey, this, is, this is about to be uncomfortable for Jake, man. Calm, yeah, for You know, real. so you got to get your head out the sand, bro, and put in this Bible. Yeah, kind of, yeah, man. It's real easy to get comfortable in the winter time. Yeah, you gain weight in the winter yep, time. You, yep. you just want to hibernate, yep. right? You drink your damn hot chocolate with your marshmallows. Yep. Co- eat, 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 eat them <laughs> covered in food. Right. Right. Like things. You know, the rolls. All, yo, all the big feasts. <laughs> yeah. All the huge feasts are are when? God. During the winter time. Yep. Christmas dinner. Yep. Thanksgiving dinner. But we, man, we got to be smarter than Esau, bro. You know, and, and with us having, if we implement the, the wisdom of these scriptures, you know what I'm saying? It's going, he's going to, the spirit is going to, to show us, you know what I'm saying, to uh, how to move in those last days. Because I love to bring it up. Second Ezra 16 to 40, he says, yep. uh, in those days, uh, be ye as pure going to prepare for battle, right? If you're going to prepare for battle, you understand that this is a, 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 a war strategy that Esau uses. Right, like during the 70 AD, if I'm not mistaken, that was during the winter time. Why? Because this is when the general population, this is when they're slothful. And they don't, they're not active. And but when, the armies they prepare for, they've been training for it the whole time. So they're gonna catch you off guard, they're gonna catch you when you're slipping. So if you if you use that wisdom and the instruction from Yahweh, you know what I'm saying, to prepare in those days and be as pilgrims, listen, man, it's not gonna it's not gonna be as, as detrimental on you. you know? And also when we read Maccabees. Uh, uh, King, uh, uh, King Antiochus in the Syrian, in, in the Syrian Seleucid Empire, they always were trying to attack us during the Sabbath day, because mm. they know that we, uh, we that, that we're supposed to be chilling on on the Sabbath day. But they're like, yeah, man, it's a perfect opportunity where they uh, off guard and mm-hmm. just chilling. So Esau's a real damn snake, man. Yep. It's a real devil. Yep. But, but, but let's keep going in this. Yeah. So there's uh, a continuous cycle of lockdowns into 2021 will eventually lead to an international economic collapse. All right, economic collapse. So they're planning to collapse the economy. And what's going to happen when they collapse the economy? They'll usher in a new form of payments, okay? Yeah, digital currency, digital cam- cashless payments. Why well, I think they done condition the people because at first, originally, we had what? Uh, or, or America had um, bank bank papers or, 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 or a Federal Reserve notes, which is the dollar that people carry around today, right? Which, if you didn't notice about the American dollar, each each state, each state had its own dollar. Like, let's just say Philly. Philly and, and, and Texas um, dollar did not look the same. Mm. It actually looked different mm. back then, yeah. right? And then you had, it used to be backed up by gold. And you had the elites. Where did they go? They went to a place called Jekyll Island. Where they whipped up, uh, where they whipped up the um, the Federal Reserve Act, which which banned the backing up of the dollar, and then what? They brought 
they brought in debit cards. Mm. Like, for instance, like Wells Fargo, which Wells Fargo are two are two devils, by the way. The last name of two devils, Chase, so on and so forth. And then they upgraded the debit cards, putting what? A chip in there. Mm-hmm. Trying to socially condition you to have the chip. Because now when you go into the store, ask you what? You, you, hey, man, you, you, do you um have a chip on your card? Mm-hmm. So to have that imprinted in your mind that, it's hey, you're supposed to have this chip. Exactly, yeah. bro. Let's see how Esau does. Esau, Esau does stuff, man. Okay. So go ahead. Keep going. Oh, damn. Damn, he's a devil, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, he just, he just slowly tightens that grip. Nah, and then nah. all at once, he just locks yep, down yep, on it, man. Yep, And people don't even know it. <laughs> yep. You ain't even know it. Let like me get that, that real quick. You ain't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. God. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in a snare, <laughs> so are the sons of men snared in an evil time mm. when it suddenly falleth upon them. Mm. You got it. Yeah. So, so like you said, just how a fish is taking an evil net. When you, <clears throat> when the fisherman is out in the sea, when he's out on the coast, he casts that 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 broad uh sea, uh, sea net out there, that cast net. Th- those fish, they're not looking above them, but. Is that net drops down upon him, and then that, that fisherman just yanks it up. That's exactly how the sons of men is, is snared into an evil time, you know, because we we don't see that. Well, we do by the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, but g- general population they don't see that this net falling down upon his world. That's right. And then Esau is just gonna yank that thing up, and he's That's gonna right. he's gonna take the masses, man. That's right. Like yeah. fish, man. Fish is what do they do? They swim. Yeah. Think about it. Naive. Not, not knowing Worried about eating. Exactly. <laughs> not not knowing that there's uh men above mm-hmm. with the net ready to yank them all up yep. and eat them. That's what Esau is about to do. Eat, eat you people, man. Yep. Okay. Literally too. <laughs> <laughs> For real, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. They cannibals, man. Uh, yep. Uh, says uh governments worldwide will offer citizens an alluring way. <laughs> In a luring way, that's how the devil does, man. Mm-hmm. He's deceiving way out of promising to eliminate all personal debts, mortgages, loans, credit cards, etc. Hold on, promising to eliminate all personal credit cards oh. and all and all oh. those things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to buy a new house, right? Oh, oh. man, Jiggy's going to line right up. Oh, yeah, I got my credit. All I got to do is get the chip. Yeah. <laughs> I got my credit cleared. Oh, I can shit. I can finally buy buy this new car or, or take out this loan that I that, that I always needed to renovate my house. Something like that, man. It's gonna catch our people. And immediately, uh, Jake gonna fall right back into debt. <laughs> as simple as Jake is, bro. He yeah. gonna be debt free for a little bit. Then he just to fall right back into the debt of the most uh, uh, to the damn e- Edomites. Bro. I'm telling you, do not fall for this, man. Cause this, hey, bro, this sound good. Yeah. This, especially to somebody that has a high mortgage, right? Paying off a high mortgage or or or, or a person that's in a lot of debt school. College students. Wow. College students are in hella debt, bro. Wow. Hella debt. Because when you graduate college, what do you do for your uh for your first what 10, 15 years when you start your <laughs> career or whatever? Yeah. Or or working at McDonald's, because some of you guys that get, get your damn degree, you, you at damn McDonald's. Like <laughs> a <laughs> damn <laughs> idiot. But what are you doing? You're trying to pay off the debt. Yeah. So people are like, oh damn, I ain't gonna have no more college debt. What do you do on my on my on my file? No, let me get it. Yeah. Gonna catch a lot of you people, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see now. Um, you kind, you kind. This too. All right. All right. It says, will you be voting in person November third? In the U.S., this idea has already been implemented in 2020 through the Paycheck Protection Program, also known as the PPP. A guaranteed loan program that forgives the debt if the borrower follows specific instructions. Which is so crazy. Esau Bill was supposed to be doing this according to the guidelines of the Bible. Mm-hmm. But you had something called what? The Jubilee. Jubilee. Uh-huh. Which is supposed to clear you, clear you all. Man, this guy's this guy's mm-hmm. the devil. Only reason why he's doing it is because he wants to put that chip in you, man. Mm-hmm. That's, or that. That's what it is. If you follow his specific instructions. Exactly. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to call it the chip anymore because you know, Esau is going to, uh, 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 Flag it. uh, um, um, be hip to it. I'm gonna start okay. calling it grain of rice because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Right. grain of rice. That grain of rice. Okay, hey man, you know Moab gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> I call it grain of rice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man, and we have to do this, man. So, so Esau doesn't, you know, flag flag our our, our channel. Mm-hmm. So, so now for you know for all you people 
the chip now is gonna be called a grain of rice. Okay, the grain of rice. All right, go ahead. All right. Um, under an impending economic collapse. What does that word impending mean? Right. And we're gonna look it up. Yeah. Um, let me okay. go ahead. Yeah, I can, I can, I can get on here if you okay, want. Okay. I'm not mistaken. It means inevitable, basically. Be about to happen. This is literally what's about to say. Inevitable. Be about to happen. So about to happen, an economic collapse. Oh shit. Oh, we can't. We can just uh just finish this. Okay, wrap up. All right. Under an impending economic collapse, any and all loans will be forgiven if, if the citizen re- agrees to participate in the World Debt Reset Program. And I and I find it funny that they just coin it in different phrases, you know, different terminology. But it's basically if you participate in a new world order, basically, you know, they just put it in different phraseology, man. Uh, funded by the International Monetary Fund. There you go, International Monetary Fund. That's New World Order. That's Con. one world currency, man. Con. Right. In order to get all debts forgiven, citizens will have to forfeit ownership of any and all. Pro- what the hell, bro? This, yo, yo. Oh, bro. Remember what I said? How Esau is going to get people to people people to get the grain of rice yep. by his words, bro. Oh yeah, man! You do this, you know. You, you know, do this. You get this grain of rice, and we're gonna do all this for you. All we trying to do is help you out. I'm telling you, bro, by his words, his smooth words, the words of his mouth is smoother than butter, man. That's how you know he the devil. And I also tells you that an enemy speaking sweetly with his lips in the book of Sirach. This is sweet, bro. This is sweet, bro. God. You know how many people's gonna fall for this, bro? Mm-mm. And this is this is Daniel eight in the NLT. Verse 25, right? And this is talking about the Greek Empire, but the same people rule in the Edomites. It says he would be a master of deception. Mm. A master of deception, bro. What does that mean? I mean, you're the devil of devils, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, and they, this guy, what it says, it, he master deception. He's the king of it, man. Shit. He knows all the ends now. When, when they say that you have mass, let's just say that. I done mastered my jump shot. Mm-hmm. That means I can tell. I, I can tell when I'm about to miss. I can. I can. Mm-hmm. I can tell when it's going in. I know how to shoot it yep. correctly. Yep. All those things. This guy just knows how to deceive. Uh, and he will be a master of deception and will become arrogant. He will destroy many without warning. One four four. <laughs> he will even take on the prince of princes in battle. One four four, man. One four four. Oh, oh, there. All praises. All praises. <laughs> He will even take on the prince of princes in battle, but he will be broken, though not by human power. Mm. Con. Hey, this, this guy's gonna be broken. Hey, Finish, but hey, but hey, this thing's about to die. End off on Second Corinthians two and yeah. eleven. So all you people, you you see the article here. You can just type it in for yourself and do your own reading. Book of Second Corinthians chapter two and eleven. Go ahead. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. Yeah, let's say get, a, get an advantage of us. Go ahead. For we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant of his devices. So, man, you, you Akim, and, and you Akwakim out there, be circumspect, stay on the toe, on your toes, man. All right, that, we're going to say, Abba Baba, Shalom. Abba Baba, Shalom.